Hi, everything. <laughs> Hi, everything. I'm Gabriel. <laughs> Hi, everything. Hi, everything. I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. Why is there a patch of hair missing? Is this where I'm supposed to part it? <laughs> so for today's video, I mean, honestly, we just haven't caught up in a minute. Clearly, there has been lots of changes in my life, and I think it's about time that we catch up. You already see the length of this video. You know these are like therapy videos for me. Like it's a moment for us to connect. If you don't know about these videos, this is a therapy session for me. So uh, I'ma just need you to listen. <laughs> just listen to me. <laughs> okay, everyone, this wig is itchy. I don't have any coffee left, so let's get right into this video. Okay, everything, so. <laughs> I love that video. No. Hi, everything. But like, why is this color so pretty on my skin tone? Right? Like, stunning, right? Like, oh my God. Do you see what I mean? Like, it brings out like the rosiness in my skin, which I'm like, <laughs> do I have a pink complexion? No, what is this? A mesh front? Ugh. One of the reasons why I was putting on the wig was because I still don't know what I want to do with my hair, dude. It's in like this weird process of like growing out. I don't know if I want to push it up. I don't know if I want to push it to the side, push it back, push it to this side. It's like, you know. Today I'm doing my makeup. If you want to know what these glasses are from, these glasses are cute though. These are from Amazon. I'll try to link them down below if I can still find them, but aren't they everything? Like Hi, everything! So for skin, I have already prepared the skin. I have prepped it with some Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24K Moisturizing Gel Cream. It actually has like some little gold in it, so I'm kind of excited to see how that works out underneath my makeup. I'm just gonna try to color correct. Oh, you know what? First of all, let's talk about this right here. This is a pimple blackhead thing that I kept with and I couldn't get out the like the root of the pimple or whatever it was and it just kept coming up and I kept picking at it and now it's like this clear scab it's not an open wound it just has like a thin layer of like scab and I just because it kind of had a scab in the beginning and I wash my face like 20 times a day which is probably not the best for me because I don't know I love to like mask when I'm bored and especially right now I've been like hella bored so I've been hella masking. Leave your pimples alone, dude. I know it's super hard. And this is coming from somebody who like knows better. Like I know better. I should not be messing with my pimples. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. She's still here. Homegirl is still here, okay. I don't know what to call her, but somebody did say Tabitha and I low-key hate that name. So I just don't like that name for her. Like I want it to be like a Latina name somehow. You know what I mean? <gasps> you know what's my favorite Spanish name? And I might just call her that because y'all love to drag her. And I feel like this name sometimes gets dragged, but it's one of my favorite names. Xochitl. <laughs> We're gonna call her Xochitl. This is how you spell Xochitl as you can see on the screen. It does not make a lot of sense, but that is her name. Her name is Xochitl. Oh, I love that name for her, Miss Sochil. Okay. I don't know like fully what to call this series other than makeup and opinions. Somebody said Theraptorials, where it's like therapy tutorials, which was really cute, not gonna lie. So there's nothing on YouTube called Theraptorial. So you let me know. Do we like it being called makeup and opinions? Because a lot of it is my opinion. <laughs> And we're talking about makeup. And I feel like the first Makeup and Opinions video was real controversial, which was really fun. So right here, we can either call it Theraptorials or Makeup and Opinions. I've been calling it Makeup and Opinions just because I didn't know what else to call it. So now it's up to the community. That's been so far my favorite suggested name, like Theraptorial. I'm kind of like it, not gonna lie. Because Makeup and Opinion is so long. You know what I mean? Makeup and Opinions. And then I don't want to call it m and because what if people are like, what the fuck is M&O? <laughs> Makeup and opinions. 
Oh, like just don't even write it. I try to read as much of the comments. I don't get around to reading all of them, but I do try to read the comments just so like I can remain like connected with what y'all are thinking, what y'all are saying. Cause it, bitch, I be asking y'all so many questions. <laughs> Where's my Laura Mercier? Oh. <laughs> Whenever I was telling y'all about my barber story that I was like talking to my barber about like anti-aging stuff, a lot of y'all wanted to know what I was talking to him about. Like what were my suggestions to him for anti-aging stuff? And to be quite honest, the one thing that I told him was the Lancome Genifique serum is the most iconic anti-aging thing. Did I already talk about this? Why does this feel sound so familiar? Did I talk about this already? My barber, basically we were just talking about like anti-aging, especially as like a guy. As a straight guy, he like wants something very like simple. Like he doesn't want to do like a 20, 20 step skincare routine. Why does this sound so familiar? Did I just talk about this in my head and I assume that I talked to you guys about it or did I actually talk to you guys about it? See, like, fuck, you're not here to like tell me instantly. Like, yeah, bitch, you already told me or like, no, bitch, you didn't tell me. Okay, well, whatever. Lancome Genifique is everything. Regular customers. People were triggered by me saying regular customers in my what I did to my face video. Like a lot of people were triggered by that. And I'm not sorry because like the company reached out to me so that they could give me a free service that I could in turn promote and speak on for them. So I didn't walk in. I didn't call nobody, no card was run, a single penny did not leave my account, and I got work done, okay, to market it. I am not a regular customer. Even the context of when I said it, I was like, yo, they treated me like poorly, so I can only imagine how they treat regular customers, and people are like, who do you think you are regular? Do you even understand the context of the, of the sentence? I don't know, like a lot of people were offended, and usually sometimes I don't care by certain people's offendedness, but a lot of people were offended to where I'm like, just so y'all know, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're offended that I, that I said regular customers? No, everybody's too offended right now. Like, can we talk about that? Can we talk about, like, I get, I get holding people to, accountable, helping them understand how something they've said or something they did could be deemed as offensive or hurting someone's feelings or insensitive. I get that. But there's some shit where I'm like, y'all want to pick apart everything, dude. Like, and it's not even y'all. Like, it's like people and they just be loud. <laughs> to the people that got offended that I called y'all regular customers, y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fucking covered. You're such a fucking mean bitch. But I want like a full coverage look. Oh, you know what? I was going to try new foundation. I was, not even gonna lie. I was gonna try a new foundation. I was actually gonna try this one by Makeup Forever. It's the Reboot. It brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, and evens out your skin because it has like skincare in it. I'm just gonna use it. I almost used the Maybelline Fit Me again because you know, I'm a basic bitch and- Regular customer. So I'm gonna see what it- Ooh, that smells good. I kind of wanted a full coverage day today because I just like, my skin has been breathing, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we need to clog you up just a little bit. Like, <laughs> do you get what I mean? Like, bitch, this quarantine, like, okay. Let's even like, let's talk about where we all started. Cause this is therapy, okay? So just imagine I'm like laying back and just like talking to you and like just telling you about what the fuck's going on with my life. Because like, yo, like I live by myself. I'm not quarantining with anybody. For me, how did it start? So last time we talked, I was supposed to have a makeup and opinions video Therapatorial? Ooh, I was supposed to have a therapatorial video. Therapatorial just sounds so cute, right? Like it's growing on me. Watch by the end of the video. I don't give a fuck about that poll, bitch. I'm calling it therapatorial. <laughs> well, honestly, around the time it was really like starting to take off, it was around my birthday. God, this smells so good. It smells good. And it's like evening out real pretty. Okay, I'm happy that I'm trying new things, right? Right before the whole corona thing, bitch, like, last two minutes. Shut the fuck up, Gabriel! <laughs> I was gonna say, like, oh my god, you've been trying to say the same thing for the last two minutes, and now you're like... Okay. So, right before the quarant... Right around the time quarantine was really, like, starting to be, like, a thing, it was my birthday, and I was gonna film a makeup and opinions video based on, basically, like, my birthday, what I did, what's going on in the month of March, and even I was like... 
Damn, I don't really have much to talk about. Like, it's kind of like an interesting time right now. Even I'm like, as I'm talking about like, like the previous week, I'm like even wondering what the fuck's going on in the world. My birthday was the last public thing I did. And that was March 10th. Which was really fun because I just had like a bunch of like friends and I don't tend to do a whole lot of thing for my birthday. One of the, I don't even know. Okay, so a little therapy time. So for my birthday, because you know, you're the therapist and you're like, hey bro, why didn't you celebrate your birthday? And I'm going to be like, well, let's dive into it. One of the reasons why I don't celebrate my birthdays that much is because I've always just thought of it as like my mom's birthday. So if you don't know, me and my mom have the same birthday. I was born on her birthday. And being away from home... I still have like the mindset of it's my mom's birthday and it, like it's her day, but because I'm not home, I'm actually able to celebrate it, but I don't really know how to celebrate my own birthday. And this was one of the birthdays where I really like, I really wanted to go back home. The day of my birthday was during a weekday and then they were gonna celebrate that weekend. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll go for the weekend, right? Just quick little Southwest flight because Southwest is the only flight that does direct flights to Hobby Airport in Houston. And that's the closest one to my parents. So, yeah, I live for a little Southwest moment. Not even gonna lie. Two free check bags, bitch. Like, hell yeah. The only thing is that I hate going to LAX for it. Like, I hate going to LAX for Southwest because it's such a big ass airport and such a commotion. But then the Burbank airport, which is so much smaller, doesn't have direct flights from Burbank to Houston Hobby, which sucks because if it did, ugh, it would be everything. Like, I'd be going all the time in Houston. Like, all the time. That would be so easy. But, like, going to LAX is such a hassle. Oh, okay, whatever. Where was I? best friend Jesus he kind of like set it up he's like you have to do something for your birthday because he always calls me out because I don't like to do things for my birthday like it's just I don't know as someone that's like a public figure I still find it weird to have too much attention on me like oh, does that make sense Mr. Therapist Miss Therapist does that make sense therapist like it's weird because I don't like that much attention on me especially on my birthday like on your birthday, like, it's all primarily focused on you. And it's weird because, like, I don't mind attention. Like, especially for what I do, you know? Look how pretty the skin looks. Wow. I didn't think I was going to be in L.A. for my birthday. And then I ended up being in L.A. for my birthday. And then I ended up being in L.A. permanently because there's no traveling. So, yeah. It was really fun. Not going to lie. Loved it. It was just, I don't know. It was just, it's really fun to create something like that and actually have friends show up. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, you care. Okay, so we used NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1.5 Macadamia. I even wanted to create like a makeup look, like a Pisces makeup look, because I had seen um, James, Sister James, create like a Gemini makeup look. I think so, right? Yeah. So I wanted to create like a Pisces look and just like, I don't know, bitch, like shit was just going down all over the world. I was confused with the, with the whole Corona thing, like the severity of it, especially like in the beginning, because it's like in Donald Trump in the beginning also try to make it seem like it wasn't as like severe as it actually was. And then like with time, I've grown accustomed, not I've grown accustomed, with time, I've learned that it is a lot more serious than some people are making it out to be. So even like I have a girlfriend and she's like a nurse. I even got to like pick her brain about it. And just the way she explained it, I was like, damn, that shit is scary, dude. So just take it seriously, you guys. But I was going to create a Pisces look. I am running everywhere with my thoughts. Like, bitch, when I tell you I haven't seen you in a minute, it's been a minute. Two fun things that I've done since then. One, I have become a definition of a true versatile queen. Not only was I a successful pitcher, I am now a successful catcher. <laughs> Bitch, I did it like one time. Calm the fuck down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. If you don't get that, then you don't need to get that. So next subject. Another thing that I tried... And it was the most amazing experience of my entire life. Like, not even gonna lie, bitch. Like, hi, everyone. So my current situation with my hair is I am uh, not dyeing it for a minute. I was actually even thinking about dyeing it for Coachella. And maybe because Coachella was canceled, it's a sign from God that I shouldn't dye it. <laughs> yeah, and Gabriel, God is that bored that he's, like, canceling shit just for your bitch ass not to dye your hair and have, like, fucking prices of, like, should I dye my hair? I feel like every fucking 20 minutes, I'm like, oh, should I bleach my hair? Should I color my hair? Should I go brown? Like, if you look at my hair right now, look, this is a piece of my hair. This much of my hair is previously bleached hair that still has brown in it. 
So like certain tips look a little bit more brown. And I also don't know which direction I want my hair to grow. Maybe I want to push it back. Imagine like, see, like this is the temperature that I can't talk to a therapist about. Like he don't give a f about my hair, but like y'all do. <laughs> sometimes I'm attached to hair and then sometimes I'm not. I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. Like if you don't, you're fake. And if you do, I love you. One of my favorite viral tweets has been like how during America's Next Top Model, Tyra would always like cut these girls' hair from like, it could be so long down to their waist and Tyra's like, you're getting fucking pixie bitch. Like that's just a look for you. She'd be cutting bitches' hair off and they'd be crying. And like, I get the emotional attachment to hair. Like I have had emotional attachments to hair styles to where I'm like, no, like you just don't fuck it up. Like, oh my God, it, it's me. Like, and like, even understanding the psychology behind hair, I'm supposed to be doing my brows. Um, so in conclusion, I am attached to my hair, but I'm not. Are you attached to your hair? Like if somebody was like, you would look so much better tomorrow with the, the opposite of your hair. Would you be like, I'm willing to try it. Or would you be like, no, I like how my hair looks. Like what if it was like a professional? Like what if Anna Wintour, was like, yo, you would look way better with either shorter or longer hair, the opposite of what you have, and either brunette or blonde, the opposite of what you have. Imagine if she told you that. Like, Gabriel, you would look better with long blonde hair. I'd be like... I don't know, let me go do my brows and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I have completed my brows and my eyes off camera and I will be doing the other side of my eyes. And I'm just kind of like experimenting. I really like it. I think it's super pretty. So let's get into it. For the eyes, I will be using the Bretman Rock X Wet n Wild collaboration. For this eye look, I'm actually only using four colors from this palette. I'm gonna be using Anaconda, which is this light minty color to blend out Venomous because I'm using that as like my deeper kind of green that blends into the blue, which is deeper. And then I'm going in with Alpha to kind of like smoke out the edge. I have some P. Louise eye bases. I really like them. They're really pretty. They sent me a few because I think they're at Morphe and then Morphe sent it in a PR package. These are the two that I'm mixing together. I'm using two and three mixed together because three is a little bit too dark, but two is a little bit too light. And I'm placing it almost like, um, like if I would be doing like a halo eye, if that makes sense. Okay, and now that you place the color, I'm just grabbing an M433 by Morphe, which by the way, you can use the discount code Gabriel if you wanna save up Morphe. Just letting you know. And I'm just like buffing it out with like the lighter one. It helps blend out the edges a lot. And then in the center of the eye, I'm gonna put the blue so it doesn't even matter how it looks like on there. So my big question, I guess to you is, who are you quarantining with? Like I did not know I should have like, you know, been quarantining with somebody, I just assume like, oh bitch, like be away from everybody. And then I realized, yo, like I wish I had gotten a cat. I mean, I can still get a cat. I'm still looking into it. I think I'm gonna foster a cat. Now with a Sigma cream color E58, it's just like a flat brush. I sprayed it with some Fix Plus. But yeah, I'm like, I'm spending social distance all well, this quarantine time by myself. Been like trying to like organize my life. First, organize my home, right? Like I organize my pantry, I organize my fridge. I'm like cleaning things up, like realizing what I need, what I don't need. That's been really amazing and in a way calming. You know what, let's go in with this brush. This is a ColourPop brush E18 and I'm going in with that black shade just to like kind of create the smokiness. I'm grabbing this little tiny brush right here from I think Laura Mercier. Yeah, it's a eye crease brush, but I'm grabbing that light kind of turquoisey color and taking that into my bottom lash line. And I'm taking the front a little bit lower than per se this part right here. And that's only because I have downturned eyes and I've noticed that like if this part is lower while this little part is like short, it lifts up the eye. So if you have downturned eyes, um, what the fuck is that? Oh, one of my crystals fell off of my Amorezi mirror. Oh. For that sparkly effect, I'm going in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Extreme Frost in Gag Me. So this one has a blue reflect, which I really like. And just be cautious, cause like the fallout is a real girl, but it's so pretty. Like, look, do you see that already? Just by itself, stunning. Just one little pat. 
the more you layer it, the brighter it gets. I don't have an extra one, but the lashes that I'm using, one of them has glue right now and it's drying. It's from Lily Lashes. So I have this little book that Lily made specifically for me. The lash that I'm wearing is called Miami Flare. And this is what Miami looks like. So it's like a very like um, symmetrical, like it's the same if you cut it down the middle on each side, right? And it's really pretty. Like as it dries, do you see how like where I'm holding it, it's like longer than like the inner corner, which I really like because it adds that flare. It gives you that cat eye effect. Oh, I haven't even put on mascara or curled my lashes. What the fuck, Gabriel? Um, yeah, so how are you doing, everyone? How is your quarantine? Tell me, tell me, tell me. During this quarantine, are you staying at home or working? Who are you quarantining with? Like who is, I guess, who's in your home? Have you been keeping up with kind of what's going on with the world? Like, are you looking at news sources? Like, what is your, what is your place of news? You know what I mean? Is it, is it Facebook? Is it CNN? Is it Fox? Is it ABC, NBC? Is it Twitter? Is there anything you've almost learned about yourself during this process that you're like, oh, like, have you grown from this? Are you gonna become cleaner? Are you gonna become more organized? Are you gonna become more aware of like, sneezing into your like arm, making sure you're closing your mouth when you cough? Like, what did you learn? I mean, what, what have you learned thus far? Well, for me, I guess I learned a lot of my news source has been through like the government, of course, but also like just trying to get news from verified sources. You know what I mean? Like I'm using a bronzer for bronzer. I'm using Essence's Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. And it's these two shades right up here that I'm kind of combining. And it's really beautiful. It's really pretty. Now it's time for random thoughts. Basically just random thoughts that I've had and like why not just share them with you if that makes sense. I'm using the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powders. It's a highlighting powder. I'm using Mercury and Venus, which are these two right here. Mercury is the lighter one. Venus is like the deeper one. I'm just going to play with the two, see what kind of, which one I like more. One random thought that I've had and I think it's kind of in due to TikTok is the idea of what an adult is. Oh, this is pretty bitch. This is the lighter one. This is Mercury. Oh yeah, I'm not mixing it. I'm only using this one. Oh, do you see that? Oh, wow. Okay, Manny. The idea of what an adult is. And I think that's one of the things that I learned as you get older is that when you're like a kid and you're like in middle school, elementary school, I always thought that an adult had everything figured out, understood everything, and they were like a like a voice of reason, a voice of justice, a voice of knowledge. Like an adult knows. All adults know. And anything above the age of like 23 to me at that time in middle school, high school was an adult. Like 25 seemed like such an adult age. Until you get to 25 and you're like, Um, yeah, no, I don't have shit figured out because, okay, so on TikTok, there's like a lot of people that are like in their late 20s, even like 30, and they almost feel like, am I too old for TikTok? But I still like am understanding what's going on with the times where as opposed to like trying to explain it to like a parent, but then they're like, oh my God, I'm older, like I'm an adult. And then it's like, okay, what exactly is an adult? age, if that makes sense. Cause like when you turn 18, you're definitely an adult. You become an adult and adult. Okay, bro, stop saying it like that. 25 was such an adult age, like growing up. That's why I'm saying 25. Like that to me was like, oh shit. like you're an adult. And you get to that age and you're like, 
oh, like you have your shit together. Like you, you got it all figured out. And I'm like, no, bitch, I don't have shit figured out. And I think that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people do because I made it for a very long time was thinking that other people have it all figured out. I don't think anybody in this world has it all figured out. They must have it figured out as you grow up. And that's, maybe this is just me, but like, and it helped me understand my parents a little bit more is, oh, you're just a human trying to figure it out. I'm just a human trying to figure it out. So it helped me understand my parents in the sense of like, oh, bitch, y'all are still trying to figure it out. Okay, so then it almost alleviates some sort of pressure. It alleviates some sort of pressure that I, I've always had in the idea of an, an adult and me becoming an adult. And that is figuring shit out. Where was this going? Oh, does the idea of an adult evolve as we evolve? Like I am an adult, but like, it, I'm not like, I don't have shit figured out even though I have a lot of shit figured out. Does that make sense? And sometimes some people will be like, oh, you have it figured out. And I'm like, oh, I figured out some shit. I don't have it figured out. I don't think anybody has it figured out. Like I've met very successful people and I'm like, how does it feel like to like figure it out? And they're like, figure what out? And I'm like, life. And they're like, bitch, I'm still like trying to figure it out. And I'm like, oh, well, in that case, my right tear duct just like looks different. Whatever, it's fine. Nobody's gonna see me anyways. <laughs> um, okay. Another random thought is sometimes like, oh, sometimes I just want a sugar daddy. Not even gonna lie. And only because I see people sometimes that make me think like, maybe I should just let somebody pay for everything. Like, why am I paying for everything? Like, I don't have a sugar daddy. Never had one. Somebody thinks I've had a sugar daddy, but I've never had a sugar daddy. I mean, I've had offers, not gonna lie. And sometimes I like, you know, entertain the idea of the conversation, but I never really follow through. And I think it's also because I haven't found like the right sugar daddy that for me that I'm like, oh wow, am I really gonna have a sugar daddy? Because I'm at the point where I don't, I clearly don't need somebody to buy me things but I do want somebody to buy me things. And it's like, if you wanna pay for my rent, why should I be spending my money for rent when somebody's willing to pay for it? I want a very attractive sugar daddy or somewhat attractive. And even then it's like, a mind is far more attractive. Ooh, like maybe it's cause I have daddy issues, dude, that I'm like super cool with it. That I'm like, yes, I want like an older man who will like low key take care of me, but like also like help me learn things and like grow and like teach me things and just like, you know. Do I want a light lip? Mmm, why is that pretty? Let's try Gucci Beauty lipstick in Penny Beige. Mmm, I love how these smell. MAC lip gloss. I don't know what shade because it actually fell off. I'm not sure, but it's like a super light shade. One final thought that I did have though was that it's kind of like a little bit more broad up in myself during this quarantine is like being homesick because like for me and one of the things y'all have to understand is although i do have some family here in la it's not the family that i generally like grew up grew up like i grew up with them when i was a lot younger and then i moved to texas when i was like 12 and that's the family that I grew up with from the age of 12 to when I moved to LA. You know, my siblings and my parents and my grandparents and like aunts and uncles and cousins who are now having kids that I grew up with and they're having kids now and I'm not able to kind of like be there, which almost like sucks because I want to be there for that experience. But I also want to like live life. And then during this quarantine, I'm like, damn, I wish I like my family was close by because then I could at least hang out with them to an extent, you know, because it's like you, you're still hanging out with family even during this quarantine. Some of y'all, not everybody. I feel like it needs a little bit of pink, dude. Like. Yes, MAC Patent Paint Lip Liqueur in Patent Pleasure. It looks like this. I'm definitely even more homesick now. But one of the things that I am trying to dissect is being homesick. Like, what is it about it that like, why does one get homesick? Is it that sense of ease of going back home because it's like, oh, it was like an easier time 
You know what I mean? I don't know. So yeah, that's one of the things that I've been kind of dissecting. It's like, why am I homesick? Is it be I mean, I definitely miss my family, but it's like, am I also like trying to chase an easier life? Like, damn, like I wish I could just live in Houston. And it's like, why? Because you would you'd be closer to your family? Yes, but would you be closer to everything that you do now? No. It just makes more sense for me to live in LA. Absolutely. Do you like living in LA? Yes. Does it suck that your family doesn't live here? Yes. So do you really want to move back to Houston? I don't want to move back to Houston, but I do definitely want like property there to where I can visit more because I love Houston and I doubt my family. I, I can't just make my family like move to LA. I can't just be like, yeah, just move to LA because I'm homesick. Like, no, they have lives there. They have fully established, rooted, functioning lives there. And I'm the only one. So then it's like, it's very selfish of me to want that. So then it's like, okay, well then maybe I want a home there that's big enough to where my parents could also live there. So they could also take care of it when I'm not there. But also I wanted to have like a farm aspect to it to where they can have like um, farm animals, like chickens, maybe some pigs, some ducks, maybe a cow or two. And I've noticed that like, I just love animals. Like I truly, genuinely love animals. And I love being around them. So I think if I had a home in tech, bitch, this is therapy. Like y'all need to go. Like this makeup look is done. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. Bitch, this is so pretty, right? Like it's so pretty. I want my hair back down. Like sometimes I want the fucking pixie cut again. Like sometimes I just feel like chopping off my hair and just getting a pixie, bitch. You know what? Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns, any thoughts, ideas. If you wanna comment onto something that I said, you wanna answer a question, you just wanna vent, I don't know. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Make sure that if you're not already, that you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell so you can be notified exactly when I upload. And until next time, everyone. Oh, bitch, this video was long. Oh my God, it's long. I can't even have a wig on. Do I look like Halle Berry now? I feel like this is a very Halle Berry haircut. I don't know. Do I want my hair pushed back? Do I want my hair forward? Do I like the pixie? Do I want long hair again? Until next time, everyone. Bye, everyone!